can one family make a difference? And this is where it began. I remember one morning a couple years ago when I woke up, got onto the computer, and then I went to my wife's email. I don't always do that. I don't think I'm some, I have some trust issues with my wife or anything. But some random thought of just checking her email to see what she was looking at came to my mind. So I went in her email and I saw this email from Paul Wheaton. So I opened it up, never looked at his emails before, never subscribed to his emails. I didn't even know my wife was subscribed to them. Open it up and I scroll and I see, I see this write up and video for a guy named Justin Rhodes in a project called Permaculture Chickens. It was by total chance that Mike checked my email that day and then saw about the Rhodes family. And I'm so glad that he did because, you know, what if, would I have looked at that email? I don't know. Maybe I would have, maybe I wouldn't. But that is what brought the Rhodes into our lives to begin with. And I know I can say for all of us here at Big Pond Farm that the roads have been such an inspiration in our personal lives and our family life. And I was raising chickens at the time and had, had been for just a couple years now and I was really interested in learning more about raising chickens. So <clears throat> I watched the video and I was blown away by the quality of the video and how Justin presented it. And I thought, wow, I want to learn from that guy. I want to learn what he is doing. So after seeing that video and being blown away by it, I decided to find this guy's contact information, found his email address, reached out to him and said, hey, I want to come visit you. Can I come check out your farm, see what you're doing? And surprisingly, he said, yes. Now, he's, he's Justin has blown up and has, there's so many people interested in what he's doing now, and I'm not going to say for everyone to try do it, doing that. He has, his time is valuable. But I was very grateful that he allowed myself and my family to come visit their farm and see his family and talk with them. It, and we had, we had a great time. And I learned a lot from Justin over the years. And I learned a lot from him through Permaculture Chickens, talking through him personally, and seeing all the great info and the content that they provide on their YouTube channel. It is truly, it's truly inspiring to see what they have done, to see where he has come from where he was as just a just a regular guy, a homesteader, to, to now teaching and helping other people all around the world to learn about permaculture practices and raising chickens and bringing more knowledge to to people who are aspiring to, to raise animals and to, to apply these practices into their lives and, and to, to make it easier for the people who are trying to do these things. That summer, in 2015 when we went and met the Rhodes and we went to their house for the very first time. They were so inviting and welcoming and I remember just having this really great connection with Rebecca. That year we had had a really big tragedy in our family and um, I remember sitting and talking with Rebecca and they had had a, a different kind of, of, of tragedy in, in their family and just sitting and talking to her and thinking this is the first person that gets it that that truly knows how i feel in this moment and uh, from then on i have just respected her so much and i applaud them for all that they are doing how they are changing people's lives um, they have completely changed our lives from teaching us about fermenting chicken feed to building a chick shawl. And that doesn't sound like much, but on a homestead, those are things that, you know, they cut cost. They allow us to, to have a mobile chicken coop. And the one that we had before was way too hard to move. And I know these don't sound like big things, but whenever they allow you to spend more time with your family because you have less to do, those are times that, that we can't get back. 
Justin, Rebecca, and all the kids, we want to thank you guys for everything you, you have done and are doing, the work that you're doing. It is, it is truly appreciated. And I appreciate the, the times that you have gathered and talked with our family. And I appreciate the work that you're doing in helping others, inspiring others. And I want to thank you because you're one of the big reasons that we got into vlogging to begin with seeing what you were doing and, and the fun that you were having and sharing your story and journal journaling your day-to-day -day life on your farm to start off with and then onto the tour your great american farm tour is is, is just been truly inspiring to us to see your success and and we applaud you and and it's encouraging to to us to see you succeed we're we're definitely definitely fans of yours and and we uh cheer you on for that and and uh, we, are, we greatly appreciate the things that you're doing and continue to do. Your success is not just inspiring to me, but I'm sure it's inspiring to so many other people out there who watch your vlog on a daily basis and just follow your work. I know you put in hours upon hours of blood, sweat, and tears into what you're doing. And, and it, is, is, it is changing the lives of many people out there. And it, it has and continues to do so and improving and contributing to, to people as a whole and, and helping them not just to learn about the farming practices but, but also to, to give them insight, some insight on your family and, and to encourage people and, and to be more connected to their family. It's neat to see you with your children, Justin, on the videos and having a good time and uh, it has encouraged me a lot of ways because a lot of times when you, when you go through certain things of life or challenges and and just difficulties you you can it can make a person become overly serious in and, and you can lose out on the sense of joy and just the fun and and the, the just the joy for life and become serious and jaded but it's neat to see you interacting with your kids and and having a good time uh, in whatever it is that you're doing it's truly neat to see that thank you justin for being an example to fathers and uh, Mike has always been a wonderful father and he loves his children but when life beats you down you don't realize it because it slowly gets taken away but you lose your enthusiasm for life and uh, I think that's what Mike and I have had both lost was enthusiasm and uh, Justin, Rebecca, you guys brought that back. Whew. Life had been hard. And you guys really helped us to refocus and um, bring fun back to our family. Something that was greatly needed. In addition to all the work that you all are doing, Rebecca and Justin, it's been neat to see and to know you that to see you on camera and to see you in person and interact with you, that you're genuine and that that you're humble and that you haven't become like these rock star homesteaders that you're above everybody, but that you, you still have a connection with people that uh, I truly value and my wife truly values as well, and so do my kids. We are very appreciative of that, and uh, we thank you very much for continuing to inspire us and inspire others, and we wish you the best success in your documentary and the things that you continue to do, like your course, and whatever ideas that I'm, I know you have a bunch of ideas and things that you're working on, so I wish you the best in that. And for those of you who are watching, I encourage you, to make sure you sign up to get their documentary, you sign up for their course, and if you haven't already, make sure you check out their YouTube channel, check out the things that they're doing, because they are making it happen, and Justin Rhodes and Rebecca Rhodes are definitely continuing to inspire and help others to bring permaculture practices on to their homestead, their farm, and to do it efficiently and effectively, and uh, hopefully making better individuals and the environment better as a whole. Thank you, Rhodes Kids, for helping your dad and doing a good job. It makes me want to help my dad, too. Thank you, Rhodes Kids, for having such a good attitude with helping your parents and on the vlog. Okay, I'm back.
So the question is, can one family make a difference? I'm here to tell you most certainly. The roads have made a huge difference in many, many lives and they will continue to do so because they're willing to put in the work. And we are so thankful for the work that you put in and all that you do and we know that you work really hard. So you're looking for the secret that got me here. Some kind of magic ingredient that takes you there. Well, you just keep showing up. You just keep showing up. You just keep showing up. Yeah, you just keep showing up. I bet it you want to hear from me No, you just want to find some kind of lucky pill for free But you just have to keep showing And to all our subscribers out there, if you want to know even more people that the roads have inspired, I want you to check out some more channels. I'll put a lot more in the description box below, but you can check out Pete Canaris, White House on the Hill, um, that 1870s homestead, the grass bed homestead, uh, thousands of roots, it's a really good one. These are all people that the roads have inspired and I encourage you to uh, check out their channel. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time. Bye guys. It's the only thing if I know anything that will set you for life. <laughs> and there you have it. Chickens expressing their chickenness. <laughs> you just keep showing up